All right, everyone. Welcome to JobSkillsShare.org. This is another vlog by me, Danish. So you guys saw the first vlog from Hadi Vali. Uh, he's my best friend, and uh, most of you liked it. And you had some questions. Now he will answer those questions, but from my side, I will answer some of the questions about salaries, and it might not be the same what he will be saying because it's totally different, you know. Everyone has a different experience, so um, let me talk about what I think and where the salaries are with in this field. Okay, so if you're brand new, you're brand new, like a brand new car in this industry, you're starting your IT, and let's say for example you're uh, starting for internship. You know, a lot of people don't pay uh, interns. Some of, I mean, now they're paying, but you know, back in the days. You would just take the internship, gain the skills, and start working. But now people are paying. Uh, people are actually paying $15 for per hour. Now that might not be true in the places that's a little bit, uh, you know, further, like so uh, southern areas or maybe other countries. I'm only talking about what I know from DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia. So if you are in these places, you're expecting this type of money. In turn, they make about $15 per hour. Okay. If it's less, then really they're paying you kind of less money. But like I said, it's up to company. So if you're an entry level IT person, meaning you're starting a help desk, basic entry level, you're looking around thirty-five to forty-five thousand dollars. That's what I think, and that's what I've when I worked with other people from my site and uh, worked with other people in uh, like you know on the live te live uh, teaching area when they got the jobs. It was around 35 to 45. If you have a little more experience, meaning you're a tier two, so you start making a little bit more because you have spent that one year, uh, that's about like 45 to 55,000 uh, dollars when you have a little more experience, maybe one or two, two, I would say two years. So when you become more uh, specialist level, let's say for example, you, uh, you know, spend like four or five years then you start making more than that. You make $55,000 to, I would say, maximum 65 in this career. I have, I don't know, I have not seen anyone, uh, I helped a specialist calling himself, but he's making $80,000. It's really, that's gonna be just really good if you're making that kind of money. Um, okay, so let's talk about IT support specialist. You know, look at these titles. There, are, some people might be IT support specialists, but they might be doing exactly the same thing what other uh, help desks are doing. Maybe he's a specialist. It totally depends on the company how they have basically came up with their uh, title system and uh, HR system and how they came up with all these numbers. I don't know, but if you're an IT support specialist, let's say you are that tier two specialist, you're making more than seventy thousand dollars. If you go to USA Gov right now and just type IT support specialist, you will see the prices will be from $80,000 to $150,000. Now there's a lot of requirements, whatever there to use the term, so I'm not, a, I, I don't work in government, but I, I just look at the prices and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of money. So that's how the prices are like, kind of like, uh, you know, by the titles, but like I said, if you work for a private company and it's a small company, they can call you a senior IT support specialist. They can call you IT support specialist three, or and they will be still paying you about sixty thousand dollars, about fifty thousand dollars. So, like I said, it's really up to the company. But in, I think more of the federal side, they have kind of like set the amount that this person with this type of experience and, and degree and blah blah blah, you get that kind of money. So. Um, in summary, you start making money from $35,000 and you can go up to $150,000 in the support site, help desk, user support technicians, IT support technician, IT support specialist, user support specialist, user support technician, blah, 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 everything in this support site. There are other terms, network engineers, system uh, engineers, things like that. They also start from $80,000. System engineers, network engineers, because they work more on Cisco servers, Windows servers, uh, Linux servers, they make more money. They don't start from $45,000. And I'll go back again, 
that there might be a company that will call you even a system engineer or a system or a network engineer and they will still pay you $45,000, $50,000. It's really up to you. It's really up to the place. It's really up to the company. That's how the salaries are. So what you can do is uh, to, to look at your income. I would do is I would go to indeed.com and I would type the titles and where you live just do the search in that title like you put your zip code or put your country name or a city name whatever and just type your title what, what you're trying to achieve from your education or the skills then you will find out pretty quickly that where uh, what other companies are offering around you that's going to be around the same because HR people they all work together they're kind of like no they know what other companies are offering around us you know so that's how things are divided and uh, you will see the salaries that way. Now, it could be totally different thing from other person perspective and if they worked in some other country or they are specialists in something else or they worked in some other state, it could be totally different. So that's why I say in the beginning, that's from my side only. All right, so someone asked a question that, uh, how do I start, like you know, this is the platform that we are in right now, jobsquestion.org. This is exactly what we do. We are professionals. I don't consider myself uh, an expert level that I claim these titles. I just, I'm good at what I do. That's it. I, I don't know any other things, but whatever I do, I'm good at it. So I created this platform for you guys to take my skills away from me and use it. So you can use it in many, many ways. You can use it just to learn to you make to work on your job right now or maybe you're a student you want to learn about things before you start applying or maybe you're just coming straight from a different country to US right now uh, and you need a job and you look for some quick skills like that like like in two months you become a help this person how do you do that start our courses today they're free so that's how uh, we are doing things and we're gonna be making more vlogs for you guys uh, and um, man Hadi Come on, make another vlog for us. Thank you so much, brother.